Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, you saw that it's pretty tricky to come up with the general equation for an ellipse out of an equation that looks like this. Easy to make mistakes, so we need to be very careful. So let's try one more example, because the more we do examples, the more we learn. All right, again, what we need to do is we need to separate the x terms from the y terms, put them in little boxes or little squares. Little brackets, so 25x squared plus 50x, and then we'll leave some space, plus 4y squared minus 8y equals, move the 71 across, the negative 71 becomes a positive 71. So that's usually a pretty good step, so you can separate the x and the y terms. Then we should factor out the coefficient in front of the square term. So we factor out a 25 here, we factor out a 4 there. So that gives us a 25 times uh, x squared plus 2x. Again, leave space. Plus, here we factor out a 4. We get 4 times y squared minus 2y. Again, leave some space. And that equals 71. And now we're ready to try and complete the square. The trick is to take half the middle term squared and add it to both sides of the equation. But don't forget, we're multiplying times the number here. We need to take that into account. So for the first one, we take 2 divided by 2. We square it. That gives us 1 squared, which is 1. And for the second one, we get negative 2 divided by 2. We square it out, so we get negative 1 quantity squared, which is also 1. So it turns out we add a 1 to both sides. So we add plus 1 here. And we add plus 1 there. But notice that I'm also multiplying times 25 and multiply times 4. So on the right side, I go plus 25 times 1 and plus 4 times 1. So we can't forget that. Okay, now let's, uh, I guess we can factor now. So this becomes 25 times x plus 1 squared plus 4 times y minus 1 squared equals 71 plus 75, that equals 100. Okay, so let's come over here and we continue that. So we have 25 times x plus 1 squared plus 4 times y minus 1 squared equals 100. So now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 100 because we want a 1 on the right side. So we have 25 over x plus 1 squared divided by 100, plus 4 times y minus 1 squared divided by 100 is equal to 1. And then we take the 25 and the 4 and we write it underneath the 100. So this becomes x plus 1 squared divided by 100 divided by 25. Again, when you divide by fractions, the same as multiply by its inverse, we get the same thing back, plus y minus 1 squared over 100 divided by 4 is equal to 1. And now when we simplify things, this becomes x plus 1 squared divided by 4 plus y minus 1 squared divided by 25 is equal to 1. And then of course we write it in the general format. And this, writes, this becomes x minus 1 squared divided by 2 squared plus y Oh, the plus one. I keep doing that. Plus, plus. It has to be the same sign. There we go. So y minus 1 squared divided by 5 squared is equal to 1. And now we have it in the proper format. The general format of the equation of an ellipse. So first we find the offset from the origin. We move left one unit and right, I mean up one unit. So we left and up, so this is going to be the new central point of the ellipse at negative 1 and 1. Negative 1 and 1. Okay, now, in the x direction, we move to the right two units, to the left two units to find the points to the side. So 1, 2 to the right, 1, 2 to the left. In the y direction, we move up 5 and down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would be at minus 4, like that. That's a 4. There we go. Now we connect all the points. And there is our ellipse. Okay, notice that we just, in general, graphed ellipse. What we didn't do 
is we didn't find the exact location where the line crosses the x-axis here and here. Uh, we didn't find the exact point where it crosses the y-axis there and there. Okay, to do that, of course, we need to do some other things. And for that, we do that at a later time. But here, we simply wanted to show you the general equation of the ellipse, how to graph it, how the equation is derived, and how to go from a form that looks like this into a form that can easily be graphed. And that is how it's done. All right, I think that's it for this set.